So, have you always been a fan of Harry Potter? Uh, uh, no. Well, I was never really not a fan, but I, I, um, I've sort of become one. Well, I'm a fan of, of, of this one. Of course. Because <laughs> you're in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no, not necessarily with that. I think, like, yeah, I think this is the best movie. Well, <laughs> but it is. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, but uh, I haven't really... I, I've tried to read the other books, but, like... Well, I haven't actually tried. <laughs> but I'm sure you've seen the movies, haven't you? Yeah, I've seen yeah. the movies. And, I, and I've, read, I've read the newest one halfway yeah. and uh, not because I didn't want to read them or anything like I would read them but like you know I've got to like, what's the point of reading <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure your anyway. school teachers wouldn't say that yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway so take me through your audition process how was that for you uh, I I, um, I was doing another movie over the whole casting process and so um Basically, my agent got me to meet Mike Newell and, and the two casting directors before anyone got seen for any part. Right. And, uh, and I had a really long meeting, and I was there for like three quarters of an hour or something. Oh. And so, and then they did all of the other uh, meetings. Yeah. And so all the other ones, the other guys just get like three minutes or something. <laughs> so like, I had a bit of an unfair advantage at the beginning. But, uh, and then I got a call back the day I finished my other movie. And uh, so I'd, I'd read the book in the meantime. And when they told me in, the, in that audition, I just read one scene, and he's like, you got the part, but like, I can't tell you yet. And then I got a call from my agent like a week later. Fantastic. So, yeah. well, I think Mike obviously is one of your biggest fans, because apparently, in a quote in Entertainment Week, he said, when you look at him, you know he's going to be in danger. He's too good-looking, too golden boy not to. So what do you think of that? Endangered? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll have to ask him oh, what right, you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Okay, yeah. I just forgot what happened yeah. in the story. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um... <laughs> that, wow, I haven't read that. <laughs> well, you must think you've got a glittering career ahead of you. Yeah, well, hopefully, yeah. I've spent all my money now. <laughs> <laughs> right, you have to do another film. <laughs> so this film um, is a lot sort of scarier and darker than the other films. How do you think the sort of Harry Potter fan base are going to cope with seeing all of that? Uh... Well, no, I think I've always said that if you can handle... Like, if they're handling the book, like... It's supposed to be scary. There's no point in, like... Like, what's the point in making it not scary? Like, it's just dumb. <laughs> but, like, and yeah, it's a, it's a scary film. There's a lot of bits, which everyone seems to be scared of who's seen it. <laughs> like, and, like, Ray Fine. That's what I loved about Ray Fine's performance, because he didn't, like... He's not hamming it up or anything. He's doing it, like... He's doing, like, a Red Dragon performance. <laughs> and, 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 like... Which is... And he's, like, he's taking it completely seriously and, like, not holding anything back, which is exactly what he should have done and uh yeah that, 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 that's kind of yeah I, I think i think it should have been scary and, and i think fans of the books would be annoyed if it wasn't if it wasn't frightening it's was supposed to be the embodiment of pure evil like you can't just be like captain hook or something yeah, absolutely yeah. so working with uh, rupert and emma and the guys how did they sort of accept you into their group because they've been working together for sort of like five years how did that work um, yeah, it was fine. We did a bonding week at the beginning, like, with doing improvised stuff. And, uh, yeah, I, I think I get on with them pretty well. Like, uh, they're all really nice. And they, they, they're there to do a job. And, uh, yeah, they're used to it. And they're all friends with each other. So, mm. yeah, they're very easy to get along with. And what was the most um, grueling aspect of filming for you? Did you find any of the, you know, water scenes or May scene particularly difficult? Um... Not, like it's all like you have so much adrenaline when you're doing it you don't really notice like I got so many little like injuries built up over the period when I was doing the maze there's all the time like my elbow would be popping and stuff and like I'd just be covered in cuts and bruises every single day and um and you'd be covered in all this fake blood as well so you didn't know when you're actually bleeding <laughs> and uh like your fingernails that was the worst bit like getting cuts underneath your fingernails because all it's like crawling around and uh but um yeah that was it was quite grueling but like just because it's really exciting playing it then uh you never really notice and it's fun like when you come home with those bruises and cuts like you know you've done it right <laughs> Brilliant.